Allergens trigger the release of histamines in the body. When those histamines bind with histamine receptors, achoo, we get allergy symptoms. Antihistamines treat allergy symptoms by competitively binding to histamine receptors. How do we model this histamine antihistamine competition in symbiology to determine how much antihistamine is required? To get started, we create a new project, which we do by clicking New in the Home tab. Because we'll focus only on simulating the model using parameters we enter, we click Next to skip loading external data and give our model a name. The last step in creating a project is to select a type of analysis, which for us is simulate model. To see the effect of adding antihistamines, we'll perform two simulations, one with just the histamine receptor binding and a second with antihistamine. We add species and reactions for the histamine receptor binding by dragging them from the library panel. Let's rename our block something more descriptive. But wait, how do we specify reactants and products? We identify reactants and products by connecting species to reactions. The direction we draw a connection matters. Drawing a line from a species to a reaction indicates that the species is a reactant. Drawing a line from a reaction indicates a product. The next step before simulating the histamine binding is to set the model parameters. Let's change the initial concentrations of the reactants from zero. Since these binding reactions are reversible, we check that box and set the forward and reverse reaction rates. We already added a simulation task when we created our project, so we just need to run it. As we would expect, the three species level off to a steady state determined by the initial conditions and reaction rates. But what will happen with antihistamines competing for the same receptors? To see, let's model the competing antihistamine receptor binding by adding the additional species in reaction and set their initial conditions and reaction rates. Now we're ready to rerun the simulation to see the effect. There we go we see a much lower concentration of histamine-bound receptors. In fact, it levels off to something close to zero. But did we need that much antihistamine to achieve this result? Let's see how much unbound antihistamine is left in the system by adding it to the plot. It looks like we have a surplus of antihistamines. What are the side effects again? I'm getting drowsy.